Hello folks! Hi JV Tribe! Hope you're doing well um, in the run up to Christmas. Just thought I'd uh, share with you another fabulous view from Lanzarote, uh, Playa Blanca. This is um, over the other side from where we were before, where we're staying. So this is the uh, eastern side of um, the south tip of Lanzarote, Playa Blanca. Playa Blanca rather, and this is the fabulous, fabulous Papaygos Beach. And uh, I'm just enjoying, just at the top of the hilltop there, just enjoying a fabulous, fabulous sunset. And um, whilst I've been running, I've just been thinking about, basically, when one gets in a rut with running, um, and it happens, it really happens, I've been running you know, it's pretty much since I was 10, year old, 10 years old in one form or another. But even as runners, even as lifetime runners, some of us just do you have spells where we fall out of love with running. And um, we need, we just need something to get us back into, um, you know, into the rhythm, into the, the habit that, uh, that we love. And um, for me, always always a massive pleasure of running has been just the adventure side of it so discovering new places and so nothing is more powerful in reigniting my passion for running than just new places to explore and um, obviously when they're as stunning as this oh God, how cool is that you can see that guy just on the ridge there when they're as stunning as this it's it's obvious to see why I mean nothing could be more motivating than such a uh, a beautiful sunset, beautiful scenery like this. But, you know, the same principle applies, you know, in a more modest way. Um, when we're at home, um, sometimes we just need a bit of inspiration. So I think sometimes a bit of a good advice is, is simply to, first of all, take the pressure off yourself. So if you've had a break from running for a while, you know, you might go out and you might think, you know, you're slower than other and all these slower than you used to be and so on and sort of it just immediately springs this sense of, of negativity. So the first thing I'd say is when you're sort of trying to get back into running after a, a, a sort of spell um, of, of when you just haven't been going out regularly, just take the pressure off yourself. Don't worry at all about the speed and don't even put any pressure on yourself to, to go particularly far. You know, you can only just go, go for a couple of miles, you know, just just get back into it nice and slowly. You know, the body takes time to sort of recondition itself. And then, as much as possible, just try to, you know, take your mind off the effort. We know that so much of running is mental. So try to take your mind off the effort by, and I've spoken about this before, giving the mind something else to think about. So if you're going through, going around the same, you know, two, three, four, five mile loop around your house, for example, that you've always, always done, you know, you know that like the back of your hand, you know, and it's, it gets dull, frankly. So why not, even if it means a trip in the car to a different starting point, you know, do it. Do it, in, in, you know, straight away, that's gonna make things more exciting. And it's just gonna take your mind off the effort, which in it, it's gonna feel, if you have had a break from running, it's gonna feel like more of an effort than it used to. Um, so, so yeah, you know, you know, ask yourself, why did you start running in the first place? Yeah, what was it that made you you know, maybe go through those initial stages when you did Couch to 5K, for example. You know, what, what, why did you fall in love with running? Yeah, obviously it has benefits in terms of our health and fitness. Um, you know, obviously it has benefits for maintaining your weight, but it's got so many other benefits. I mean, my goodness, mental well-being. Look at this. We're, if you're just joining us, by the way, we're live from Lanzarote this evening. And um, yeah, I think it's actually, it's, it's obviously just about still daylight here, but it might actually be dark at home back in England. But um, yeah, we're basically just talking about, you know, reigniting one's passion for running. So novelty, I guess, is, is the theme we're talking about, novelty. This is an extreme example. So a beautiful location like this is gonna reignite your passion, but it could be any other forms of novelty. So it could be simply, you know, going running with uh, a pal. You know, hi, hi guys. Got some other runners here. I have to turn turn around, see if we can see them. Um, yeah, so it could be 
running with a pal. So like in the JV tribe, we're so fortunate because we've got people we can call upon at any time just to meet up for a run. Um, you know, obviously we've got our uh, scheduled JV sessions as well. But um, yeah, so that could be a really good strategy, just um, meeting up with someone to give you an extra sort of uh, just incentive to go out for a run. But but yeah, just fresh air, guys, just clearing the mind. I mean, it's kind of, I guess it's a bit ironic I'm videoing this, so I'm not exactly completely separating myself from the technology in the process. But you know, just so few, few uh, minutes of our day um, in our modern lives um, do we put down the devices. You know, mobile phones are so addictive. And going out running is one of the few times where we just switch off in that sense, yeah? Appreciate the wonderful world that we live in. Um, and yeah, just, just switch off effectively, give the mind a rest. And we were literally born to run. If you've not read Chris McDougall's book, read it now, guys, yeah? Um, that's one of the uh, passions of mine we were born to run, yeah? Um, don't let anyone tell you running's bad for you. Running with bad technique is bad for you. Running um, too far, um, too fast, too soon is bad for you. But a sensible progression, um, progressive approach to running is, uh, and uh, doing so with good technique, um, getting a, appropriate coaching on that if you're not sure, is never, never bad for you guys. It's one of the most life-affirming things you can ever do is um, learn to run and continue to run and, and just make it part of your everyday lifestyle. And what, what a fabulous gift that is. When you can run, it means you can go and explore. So this, um, this place I think is about, well, four and two thirds from, I'm on about 4.7 on my Garmin. So it's nearly five miles away from my hotel. If I, um, we don't have a rental car here. If I hadn't basically, if I wasn't able to run, I would, I would, this is what I'm missing out on basically, yeah? I would be missing out on this right now if I couldn't run because I would have never got this far in this absolutely stunning location, yeah? So guys, if you have fallen out of running, remember these things, yeah? If you were able to learn to run before or gradually build up to running, you know, endurance distances several miles, wherever before, you can do it again. Yeah, if you've done Couch to 5K but not kept it up, for example, it doesn't matter. You should have the confidence that you've done it once, you'll do it again. It doesn't happen overnight, yeah? Unfortunately, you do have to start, maybe not completely at the beginning, but you'll have to start, you know, maybe about a third of the way. It depends, obviously, how long you, you've not been running. Um, oh, got my JB bottle, by the way. Hey, it gets everywhere that bottle, JV bottles. And it's your pictures of your JV bottles in exotic locations, guys. Yeah, so so you just gotta be realistic about things, yeah? You might have to start again near the beginning, but it doesn't matter. You know, it only takes a couple of months to do the Couch to 5K program, especially if you're already, um, you know, relatively conditioned in, in other ways, like you've been coming to um, classes, for example. Um, so just be sensible. Make sure you stretch after every run. It makes an enormous difference to how successful you'll be in building up your distance again. And patience, guys. Just be patient. Be realistic. Yeah? Like I say, don't put pressure on yourself to do too much too soon. Build it up gradually. And, you know, soon enough, with the right consistency and determination, you'll be able to build back up to being able to go out for sp spontaneous, beautiful runs like this. Look at that, guys. Stunning, stunning view. Okay, so I'm gonna have to um, clock off now because um, even though it is still light here, um, the sun is fading and I've got about five miles to get back to the hotel. But guys, yeah, rediscover your run, your love of running, basically, is the theme of this. Just give yourself something novel um, in terms of a route to re-inspire you. Use um, your friends um, for JB guys, it'd be the tribe members, obviously, um, to go out running with you, just for a little bit of extra inspiration. But just never forget what a privilege it is to be able to run in the first place, yeah? To be fit enough and basically just to, yeah, just to be able to discover new places, guys. 
in the most life affirming way possible. So overnight for now guys, but uh, we shall see you very